focus on your breath. Tell yourself you're not going to go anywhere else. You're going to stay right here because you want to see what's going on right here. This is what alertness is all about. When the Buddha says to be in the present moment, it's not just to enjoy the sound of the bird song or the taste of tea. It's to see what you're doing and asking yourself, is this what I really want to do? What kind of results do I expect out of this? All too often we let our actions go on automatic pilot. And who knows who made the settings for the automatic pilot? We can get pretty sloppy about things, as we, especially when we try to multitask and do several things all at once. Sometimes our really important decisions get shunted off to some minor official someplace inside the mind. And you know what minor officials are like. They have a little bit of power and they want to make the most of it. So you want to be on top of things to see what decisions you're making and why you're making them. And if the reasons are not good, you can change what you're going to do. And this is how you change your life. The boy is always talking about being in the present moment in the context of the fact that we're going to die sometime and we don't know when that's going to happen. It could happen at any time. But we do know we have the present moment right now. So we want to make the most of it. Make the choices that you're going to be glad that you made. And for the time being, the, the choice is I'm going to stay right here with the breath and develop some stronger powers of concentration so I can see the mind a lot more clearly. It's because the mind is still that you can see it. The two qualities go together. This Then use your mindfulness to make sure that your alertness is continuous. The two qualities help each other along. Mindfulness re reminds you to stay alert. And alertness is what notices when you're beginning to slip off. Slipping off into the past, slipping off into the future, and remembering that you don't want that. So develop these two qualities together. They're at the basis of any job well done. You need to make sure that your life is a job well done. So bring them to your life. The things you do, you say, you think. Those are the important parts of your life. The things that other people do are not all that important. Think about Thomas Jefferson when he had his gravestone designed. He didn't have put on it the fact that he was president of the United States. He said that was something other people did for him, or to, did to him. He wanted to have inscribed the things that he did. And that's the right attitude. The things that other people do to you, that's the result of actions that came from a long time ago. Make sure you're focused on what you're doing right now. 